All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR. So this is gonna be a quick video. So if you follow me on Twitter, then you probably noticed that a post I made yesterday got quite a lot of attention. The post was a video of me using the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller on the Nintendo Switch. So in case you don't follow me on Twitter, I'm just making this video to inform anybody that may just watch me on YouTube or may come across this on YouTube and wants to want to know how to use your dual set dual sense uh, controller on the Nintendo switch it's very simple first you need this adapter this is the 8-bit dough USB Bluetooth adapter right it cost about $20 I think you can get it for about $16 right now on Amazon uh, the company makes different controllers uh, and uh, different adapters um, so you can use uh, certain controllers on different platforms and you can use this to, to use your um, like your DualShock 4 even on the on the Nintendo Switch so this is not something new uh, but apparently some people aren't aware of this because when I tried to use my DualSense on my Nintendo Switch I wasn't surprised that it worked because the DualShock 4 works on a Nintendo Switch and so does a lot of other uh, peripherals and controllers and even fight sticks, I believe, because of this device. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm just going to go in over and plug this into uh, my Nintendo Switch. All right, so I'm over here by my Switch. Got the 8-bit dough adapter. Just got to plug it into the dock of the Nintendo Switch, which is actually kind of hard to do one-handed. Doing all of this one-handed is kind of hard. Uh, so that's plugged in. Let me turn on my Nintendo Switch. Got all the controllers over here. Um, and my TV should come on. It's on. All right. So pretty much what you got to make sure is that the adapter is in pairing mode. I think it goes into pairing mode automatically. Uh, if you see that blinking, I believe it's pairing and it's looking for a device. So all I really have to do is just put my DualSense in pairing by holding the create and power button and they should automatically sync. You'll know it syncs because it'll become a uh, solid blue. It's actually taking a little bit longer than usual. Let me press this. Okay, I had to press it and it's solid blue. That means it is now synced. All right, so I've mounted my phone so I can actually use two hands to do a demonstration. So one thing that people were concerned about uh, from my Twitter video was input lag. But I, as I can show you, there is no input lag. Like it's, it's, very, it's very responsive. My Twitter video might have seemed like there was input lag because I was pressing wrong buttons because for example on the Nintendo Switch uh, this button is to confirm and this is to go back and on PlayStation Xbox it's the opposite so that kind of trips me up a little bit so let me just play um, a quick game of uh, Mario Kart Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And of course, my cat wants to make another cameo. Callie's now not, now's not the time, Callie. Back up. I'm trying to do a demonstration video. Mind your business.
So yeah, as you can see, the DualSense works completely fine with the Nintendo Switch. So please hit the like button to support this video and to help more people see it who may need to. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video, alright? Peace.